fishing. I can remember my father, you know, in the small creek that we wade fished, I would get a piggyback on him through the deeper holes. And, and I mean, I was that young, you know, when I started fishing. And from then on, it, I just, I had a, a yearning to be in the water somewhere fishing with a fishing pole. There were no lakes where I was from. I never had a kayak or a canoe or, or a boat or anything like that, and so I wade fished. It, it was the only thing that would keep me in the water and I didn't have to have a bunch of equipment. I would just either drag a minnow bucket with uh, crawdads in it around me or I would catch my bait as I went uh, in the stream. Let's see if we can't get another one right here. There ought to be another good one right here along this ledge. My friends and I, we would put in miles and miles of just wading, and we always waded upstream, so we we're wading against the current most of the time. And I mean, it was it was rough work. Where'd you learn that? Been in the river all my life, and you just notice things like that after you're in it. I've been fishing this river for over 40 years. But I remember about about seven years ago. I was fishing a spot on the New River and I seen a kayak coming down the river and the guy was paddling right at me and I, I watched him for a little bit and he, and he kept coming and kept coming and I, I was blown away. I, I, I mean, he covered all that territory between me and him and, and like it was nothing, it was effortless. I never got in a kayak until I was 50 years old. And here I was trudging up the, the river all the time and I'm thinking to myself, that's what I need. I need to get something where I can cover more territory. This river's over 300 miles long and I've fished almost every bit of it. Manufacturers started manufacturing better boats that were aimed toward anglers. They had to sit on tops and you could rig them out and I just kept getting a little bit better boat as I was going on and within about two years I had a really good fishing boat, a good paddling boat and uh, I entered my first tournament. I had seen on, uh, I think it was on a Facebook page, that someone was having a tournament, a kayak tournament. It was on the New River. And I'm like, wow, they have tournaments out of these things. And so I already had the competitive spirit. And so when that opportunity uh, came up, I wasn't gonna pass it up. I actually won that tournament. And after winning that tournament, there was no turning back. I mean, I knew what I was going to do. The, uh, the big one here, this is the Pro Tour champion, where KBF has a Pro Tour. $6,400, Mr. Jody Queen. Woo! Grasshoppers, black with me. smoke. Jump up into my face. This big river shows with hope. Pours over a burned place. They leap and fly and lay down to die. Sooty bodies brush my mouth to color my lips gray. Roll me gentle to heart in a river. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's beautiful. My fishing dog just come for a butt rub. Yeah. All right, go on now. They don't want to give up. Look at him dig. Dig, dig, dig. And he's not that big of a fish, but man, are they fun. Winter stops the road. Let me do that again. 
really? And that's that's the one that ruined me. <laughs> so there was no looking back after that. So that's pretty cool.